This Wheel of Fortune player was acting strangely with her letter picks. Then people realized why. When it comes to quiz shows, competitiveness is everything and charity is often left at home. So when this Wheel of Fortune contestant made peculiar plays in the final speed round, many were stumped by her strange behavior. It was only later that fans guessed the heartwarming truth behind her unusual behavior. As part of Veterans Week 2015, Wheel of Fortune's producers decided to do something special. In honor of the contribution made by American servicemen and women, the show would have a military theme. In addition, the week's episodes would only feature current and former combatants as guests. Following a smooth sailing episode on Monday, audiences sat down expecting more of the same on the following day. Indeed, the November 10, 2015 episode started much like any other. Host Pat Sajak introduced veterans Steve, Troy, and Nura as the game proceeded as normal. Within a few rounds, it became clear who was going to win the game. In fact, by the episode's penultimate round, Nura had swept the board and secured $13,970 in the bank. In contrast, Troy had bagged just $4,300, and poor Steve hadn't managed to win anything at all. As the episode entered its last speed round, Nura was the definite fan favorite. After Troy correctly guessed T in the two-letter clue word, audiences turned their attention to Nura, expecting another sensible play. However, what she said next left them a little more than confused. With complete assuredness, she uttered the least likely possible letter, Z. Naturally, audience members and fellow contestants alike were baffled. For example, Steve, smiling for the cameras just a minute earlier, furrowed his brow and stared at Nura in utter disbelief. Sajak also couldn't believe his ears. Say that again for me, he requested. However, rather than realize her apparent mistake, Nura again repeated her original answer. Did you say Z? The host asked once again. Nonetheless, the contestant remained completely unfazed. As in Zulu, she said firmly, Z. You did say Z. Okay. Still visibly shocked, Sajak turned the face to the board, which, to nobody's surprise, failed to light up. Brushing off this answer as a momentary lapse of reason, the host turned to Steve, who rightly guessed the letter R. Following this, Troy correctly called S before it was Nura's turn again. This turned out to be another disaster as well. Although she didn't suggest a bizarre letter again, Nura simply declined to answer at all. However, she was at least able to come up with a letter in the next round. As a bemused Sajak turned to face her, Nura decided upon another bewildering choice. Q, the contestant cried out. By now, Nura's antics had started to catch on with the viewers, and the Twitter sphere was full of fans expressing their disbelief. Is Nura drunk? wondered Mike H. Meanwhile, after the contestant made another weird choice, a confused Brianna Souter asked, Why is this lady guessing Z, X, and Q for the puzzle? However, the best quotes of all were reserved for host Sajak, who responded to Nura's strange guesses with barely constrained frustration. Indeed, before the guest penultimate round, the exasperated host muttered, I wonder what letter Nura will call. However, she certainly disappoint X, she answered. As with her previous guesses, Nura subsequently failed to see a single letter light up this time around. What's more, her final turn yielded nothing either as she stood awkwardly in silence waiting for the timer to run out. All in all, it was a curious performance from someone who had been playing so well just minutes earlier. In the end, it was Steve who walked away the round's victor having correctly guessed the phrase, following footprints. He claimed his first win of the night, as well as $6,400 to take home. However, while Steve may have been the eventual winner of the round, it was Nura who gained the biggest reaction. Following the eventful segment, Sajak grilled his guest about her intriguing picks. Perhaps inevitably her reply was cryptic, that's what I saw. However, the host was clearly unconvinced by her explanation stating, that was an unsatisfactory answer, but she's not under oath. But although she lost the round, Nura still had done well enough in the early parts of the game to proceed to the final. Furthermore, her poor performance allowed Steve to leave the show with some sort of consolation prize. Suddenly, fans began to wonder if she'd been playing a different game entirely. While she didn't confirm anybody's suspicions, Nura, knowing she had already won, seemed to be playing tactically. 
Indeed, very much in the spirit of Veterans Week, she appeared to be sharing the spoils between her fellow combatants. By stepping back from the round, she had let another contestant go home with money in his pocket. Almost immediately, those who had been following the show expressed their admiration via social media. Just saw the classiest move on Wheel of Fortune, tweeted Jeremy Pond. Nura threw the final puzzle to let a fellow military person win it. Much respect. As a result, the episode had turned into a particularly memorable installment. In fact, for many viewers, this was the first time that they'd witnessed such a charitable act on a game show. Way to go, Nura, wrote Retro Rager. Never saw someone throw around so everybody could win some money. Moreover, despite her sketchy performance in the preceding segment, Nura was back to her best when it came time for the last round. However, even with her full attention, the veteran was unable to guess the final puzzle by appointment. Consequently, she lost out on the $33,000 grand prize. However, the star player was happy with her near $14,000 she'd already won. Clapping and smiling at the end of the show, Nura exclaimed, I'm going to Belize. As the episode reached its end, Sajak congratulated his guest before telling her, you made us all happy. Thanks to Nura's unselfish actions, his words couldn't have been more appropriate. Please share this video with your friends below.